peace and blessings, family. Sister Ajali, Woo! after finishing that white noise thing, I have uh, a little bit more time to just do shorter shares. <laughs> Whoa, that thing took forever to edit together. But getting right into it. This is the first time that I've ever done a meme uh, before I did the presentation. And that's only because this is so much fun. But in having fun, I do acknowledge it's a, it's a more nuanced topic because uh, there is evidence that there are aliens. And I know, and, and by aliens, it... Ooh, if you are traversing the galaxies, you black. You black. There's no other way to handle the cosmic radioactive forces uh, that come in waves and particles even, which would penetrate any vessel. That's why, no, these dudes never went anywhere further than the Van Allen belt that encapsulates the planet Earth. Uh, thereby... Whenever they talk about aliens, it's always, you know, this sort of every alien is either white like or not. Well, just say they're not black at all in any way, shape or form. This is uh, Prometheus. I do believe I, I saw the movie, but I don't remember it. But so well. But he was at one of the original, you know, procreators all over the galaxy. And he was just an evil force, which is in perfect keeping for the origin of Prometheus. As a Greek god in Greek religion, one of the titans, a supreme trickster and a god of fire. It, like, really? You, you think the universe is just going to be peppered uh, with completely non-melanated characters who are just viciously destroying each other and everything else? No, look at the way these people's society, the unentitled snakes of America, has been a prime pinnacle example of their trickery just let loose as a force to take advantage of people who their natures are good and would have no defense whatsoever against a predator who comes in a human-like form. And thereby, for the United States to be falling to pieces after just, what, it hasn't even reached its uh, 300th birthday? <laughs> so quickly, where these people are throwing out everything everything in order to maintain their hegemony for just one second longer. How is it that any alien force would be smart enough to traverse the galaxy, but stupid enough to not recognize who the destructive entities are on this planet? And so John Kerry says an extraterrestrial force brought people to Davos. Davos? What? You might as well just go to an Illuminati gathering. You might as well just go to the Bohemian Grove. A Prometheus, anyone? A John Kerry, anyone? <laughs> really? E.T. says, phone Allah and sanity and righteousness and none of that trickster nonsense. And so this is a wonderfully short article. Let's just take a, a quick gander at what he is claiming. U.S. Climate Envoy John Kerry told a group of attendees Tuesday at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, that they were part of a select group of human beings brought together by an extraterrestrial force to save the plan. Yeah, I would say that that was in an accident there that they forgot to put E.T. at the end of it. <laughs> phone home, dudes, phone home. Because uh, we're not falling for it. It doesn't matter whether most of the world understands or has the guts to face up to the truth that Pro-black you and me are sharing and we are doing that deep research necessary to just watch the devil choke on our dust as we leave him behind. Uh, but 
no one, no one with any intelligence for real and not simply psychophantic adoration of these false deities, white folks, right, is going to believe that that they're the ones that you go to in order to save anything. They're the ones who destroyed everything. I've gone over it with the radioactive rice that's being shipped to the Caribbean and to Africa for free from Japan. What you think is in that rice, hmm? It sure isn't warmth and affection, okay? Unless uranium-238 and strontium-90 and plutonium are considered way, a new way of hugging your very cells to obliteration, okay? And in the CMOS, so much, I've, I've put that out there so much that now I see them peddling seaweed even the white people, because they need to hide their evil deeds. This is a snake, literally, and even more slippery than a snake, where every single time we get a concept of the evil that they do, they got to change the narrative. So with this one here, where he's like, these extraterrestrial forces came to save the plan. <laughs> If you aren't going to mention radiation, you're full of crap. You're full of crap. Because when Fukushima blew up, these dudes were swearing it was no more hazardous than what's in a banana. And I can verify a hundred ways, probably a thousand ways, why that was just a bold face lie. Oh, my God. Right? So... Here he says, the climate czar opened by thanking uh, Satanist right here, president of the World Economic Forum in Geneva for getting him the best room I've ever had in 35 years. That room must have had a god dang orgy going on in it to talk this dude into reading from a script of desperation on the part of these satanic elites. Because I, with the white noise... I saw that they are all about trying to stave off their own damnation using massive catastrophes, orchestrated catastrophes, and epic distractions to calm down their own fears. See, these dudes are freaking out. For anyone to get up in public as if it's credible and swear that the white man was visited by aliens so that they could save the planet and they aren't going to mention that dead Pacific Ocean. This took chutzpah because I, I would hazard John Kerry knows about Fukushima. All these dudes are way up at the tippy top. He, not that he is, but they know about Fukushima. So he also launched into a diatribe warning attendees that time is running out to avoid climate changes, worse consequences. Just, you know, for things like that, just put in man-made radiation, okay? When you stop and think about it, it's pretty extraordinary that we select a group of human beings, white ones too, at Davos too. No, oh, oh, stop it. Because of whatever touched us, yeah, evil, a touch of evil, without a doubt. It's all throughout you. At some point in our lives, are able to sit in a room and come together and actually talk about saving, no, it was right up at the beginning of the article, saving the plan. <laughs> saving the plan. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they actually even did that little thing right here on purpose because this is, uh, well, it's Daily Mail. Daily Mail is just rife with mistakes. But I thank you, dear sister Celeste Danes, for sharing this with me because this was this was just oh I had to talk about this one even though there's so much I haven't been paying attention uh, to news I haven't even done my count of the newly departed because I I'm just building I've got my soap is ready. You can go straight to 25,000yearcycle.net and get yourself soap that is 
healing, holistic soap. I just, my king came up with that way to describe it. And I was like, that's it. But everything I wrote here, unlike these dudes who tell you smoke crap all the time, you can't even hit a fan with it because it's so not substantial. Once you recognize that they are the devil, are there white people out there who are good people? I guess so, but I am so done. I'm so done. It's actually hazardous at this point in time to even acknowledge, but the most high said, he's not coming for individuals. He's coming for principalities. And he said, we shouldn't gloat. So I won't gloat. If you're good, go amongst your own white people. Save them. They really need it. Okay? So I'm what I wrote out here, all of this is true. This is I put it on Facebook, I put it on Instagram, I put it on YouTube also. It's all true and more is true. It's just that certain things I can't say. Uh, according to their legalese. I wish I could just say what the heck all these different ingredients do, but none of them are toxic, okay? And so you could get your soap and you can get your healing because the radiation is in our food. And that is the most hazardous avenue to causing chaos that, that's what they're worried about is coming, is that we're going to realize that your sister here in Newark, New Jersey, ain't never lied to you. You need this book. It is what it is. And you'll find it on 25,000yearscycle.net along with all my king's healing products. Because if I'm going to be here for real, trust and believe, I could not be living with a man who isn't even more real than me because he is the head of our household as best as we both can submit to the one and only and that is woo that that's pretty daggone good okay because we got black love and that stuff it lasts forever peace and blessings straight black family pride and i will see you again real soon if not today then tomorrow i love you